Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on an MSI gaming laptop. I know that this version of the MSI is pretty old, maybe back in 2017 or 2018. Uh, the model of this is MS16J9. If you're not sure what the model is, take a look at the back of your computer. You should be able to identify with the fine print. Uh, hopefully, it stay focused, MS16J9. All right, so I'll be taking it apart, uh, meaning that remove the motherboard, the battery, the RAM, um, the hard drive, things like that. So you get to see what is inside of your computer and at the same time, if you want to do an upgrade, increase the RAM or change out the hard drive, things like that. Hopefully this video would help you and you can follow along with it. All right, so I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. This is a, just a regular Phillips PH1 and you need to remove all the screws in order to remove the back cover. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> what I recommend you to do is uh, take a picture of the, um, the computer first, print it out. So you have a picture with the printout. As you remove the screws, you might want to put the screws on top of the paper, the printout paper, so that you can, uh, so that you would know where the screw is gonna end up to. Okay, so I mean the screws are the same, If I think so. Uh, if it's the same, then it is okay if you mix match the screws. But if the screws are not the same, then you might be a problem to find them back together. So um, as a reference, use the paper, print it out as a reference. When you remove the screws, uh, just lay them on top of it. Then you can uh, put them back together very easily. Okay. So I'm getting there, just remove all the screws. There's a lot of screws here, so let's go ahead and remove them all. All right, once I've removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and slide the uh, optical drive. So slide it to your left to remove it because there are three hidden screws here. Uh, this three hidden screw is a lot smaller, so I'll be using the 1.5 Phillips screw. Go ahead and remove that three hidden screws here. Okay, once that screws are removed, let's go ahead and pry it open. So I'm just going to uh, uh, kind of get myself here because since I have room on that optical drive, I can start separating the plastic just by popping it up like so, like such, okay? And then just by popping it up, I'll miss one of the screw here. All right, so once you have removed the back cover, you can now see that the entire internal part of your laptop, and of course the battery is built in, and all you have to do is just lift it straight up, away from you, and up, and that is the battery and looks like those battery is 246 cells battery. So anyway, um, the replacement part on the battery, if you're not sure where to find them, go ahead and look up for this model here. It says BTY-M6H. That would be the replacement battery for this MSI laptop. All right, let me go ahead and kind of give you an idea what you're looking at. The hard drive M.2 is located right at the middle of the bottom section here. To remove it, get the Phillips screwdriver and just remove that screw. And you can now slide the uh, M.2, the older version of the M.2 to your right and just remove it. That is the uh, DDR3, I believe, DDR4. Okay, so this is PC4, meaning that it's a DDR4 RAM, PC4 is DDR4 and there are two sockets, top and bottom. And to remove it, it's very simple. All you have to do is just push the two metal clipper on the side, just push it away from each other, and then the RAM will just pop right out. All right, there's additional slot for you to install 2.5 inch hard drive. This is the slot right here. The heat sink, the CPU fan. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll be removing the two Wi-Fi cable that is the red, which is for the bottom, and without the red marker, it's on the top for the Wi-Fi. 
let's go to zoom in a little bit at least you guys can take a closer look at things let's go ahead and remove the uh, the Wi-Fi wireless NIC card so remove it slide it to your right and this is the CPU fan connector all you have to do is just lift it straight up to disconnect them and that is a Wi-Fi sorry that is the uh, LCD cable make sure you open up the little clipper flip it open and slide that cable out okay I'm gonna come back here and take a look at the uh, speaker. That is the connector for the speaker. Slide it down. And that is the CMOS battery for the motherboard. You have to remove it, slide it to your right to disconnect them. Here comes the little clipper. Flip it open, the tiny little clipper here. Flip it open and slide the flex cable down. I believe this flex cable is more likely for your touchpad. All right, come back here, you're gonna disconnect the CPU fan on the top left corner just simply pull the connector straight up okay and remember now when you install them you look at the con connector carefully on the left side of it has holes on the right side of it is kind of solid connector right if you look at the uh, the connector on the motherboard the pin that is sticking up is supposed to match the one on the left and then the empty slot right here would be the one matches on the right. So when you install, meaning that the, you see the connector here, there's a silver part. And if you flip it around, there's a solid. So the silver part would have to facing out, right? The silver part would be facing out. And then the solid part would be facing inwards. So the connector goes in like this way. Okay, so that is that. Let's go ahead and flip open the clipper, slide the flex cable out. That is for the USB uh, port on your on your left or on the right. Okay, let's jump right into the CPU fan. We're gonna remove that CPU fan. Go ahead and remove that screw here. So we just remove two of the screws and go ahead and remove the heatsink the heatsink is joined together with the graphics card so the CPU and the heatsink are all together and when you remove it you have to remove both of them at the same time okay so I'm just using a regular Phillips screwdriver here still there are eight screws in total and they do come off some of the computer they do not the screws do not come off all right let's come back to the uh, cpu fan on the left remove that and remove that okay there's one here down on that side okay once you have removed all of that the next step is to remove the heat sink as you can see I was holding down the motherboard and then slightly pressure upwards you want to separate the heatsink now the thermal paste these are what we sorry the thermal pads these are what we call the thermal pads the thermal pads are still kind of glue onto the chipset you can see that some of the thermal pads are removed from the heatsink and still stick onto the chipset so that makes the heatsink sticky when you remove it so you have to put a little bit pressure not a lot because you do not want to bend and break that copper heat sink okay so you just want to give enough pressure and let that separation do its own own thing okay once you have removed the heat sink that is the motherboard and here comes the dc jack connector so the dc jack connector goes from here connects to the motherboard all you have to do is to slide the connector away from the body so slide it that, that direction. Remove the two screws. I am going to remove the LCD screen hinge altogether, okay? So remove the two screws, push that hinge backwards like such. And then you're gonna come here and work on this. To 
two screws on the hinge on the right side and push, push the hinge backwards. Now you can just disconnect the entire keyboard and the LCD screen. Or do they come apart or they don't? Technically, you're gonna push a little bit more, push it all the way to the back. The hinge has to be all the way to the back uh, because the connector on the bottom part of your keyboard it is kind of a U shape, so it kind of curves in. So it has to be curved in and mount back to the screen. So you have to push the hinge all the way to the back. All right, so that is that. I just uh, removed the entire um, screen and this is the full size keyboard and again the keyboard is not replaceable as you can see that the keyboard is being punched down by the manufacturer it is not a separate keyboard where you can just replace the keyboard itself you would definitely have to replace the whole full assembly keyboard so you gotta find somebody who sell the full assembly keyboard if you need to re replace that all right i'm gonna focus on removing the motherboard and that should be it for the video uh, let's go ahead and remove the screws here. One, two at the bottom right, three. So there are three screws in total, and then the entire keyboard would just about to come right off, but it doesn't still. Uh, the reason why because the uh, keyboard is to attach to the motherboard on the other side of it so what you want to do is you just want to lift and tilt towards your body okay and once you're done with that you can see that the two little clipper here that holding the uh, clipping down the keyboard you need to push the two black clipper away push it up and then slide that flex cable out same thing for the back keyboard lighting push the thing the two clipper outwards like such okay and then slide that back lighting cable off that's the motherboard if you're interested um, check the link down in the description below I probably list it on the eBay I'm not sure if by the time when you watch the video if it's still available but I'll definitely list it on the eBay uh, the motherboard is still work everything is working fine except the keyboard here so the keyboard would be a uh, no-go for me i would definitely uh you know kind of donate the keyboard away or put it on a recycle and just kind of give the keyboard away because some of the keys are not working i know that the uh, the f the 890 those are the key that they're not working on this on this keyboard all right, the LCD is still good. Um, definitely, this this is the original OEM LCD screen from MSI. Um, I'll list it on eBay as well. If you're interested, go check it out on the description below. All right, I uh, appreciate you for watching it. I just want to uh, quickly disassemble the whole thing and and you know give a second opportunity for somebody who needs the parts can go onto the eBay and um, find a replacement part to fix the computer. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. If you do find the video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe as well. And there is a YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to show appreciation. You can click on that and donate some money and to show appreciate of the work that I do and support the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.